sunny Tuesday, off into Banyaluka. Elections are coming. Yes, on 16th of November. How do you know, apart from all the posters? You can smell the fresh paint on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the thing about everywhere in BIH, Bosnia Herzegovina. I don't know if we're going to see any road painting today, but yeah. You can definitely see it. Repair of the roads, repair of everything. The last the possible elections. moment. The last possible moment. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Is this a luxury life? For Phoebe. This is how she's driving. <laughs> Every morning we have a feeding session. <laughs> she doesn't like to eat dry food. Uh, look at Cooper. He's not he he's not interested, is he? No, she doesn't like to eat dry food off the bowl. You either have to throw it to her or give her like this. I oh, know, it's crazy. But uh, this is a good quality food. She needs the, all the ingredients from it. It's over 60% chicken in it as well. She and does. I also grind dry food and mix with the good quality canned food. Really? Yeah, so she gets all the goodies. Because she's not a very fan of dry food. She eats not when she was little, even little, she wouldn't like it. But she likes steak. Oof, yes. She likes real meat. This no. this is spoiling a dog. I know. Outrageously. I dropped it. <clears throat> Be big. I think she had enough. She almost ate the whole bottle. Uh, the whole uh, bowl she left. Bibi. What's this? Hey. Viva. No. Yeah. She, she I think she's done. Yeah. She's a small dog, so we don't want to overfeed her. Because she's going to get fat. And then she can get disease. Well, oh, there's something happening. Hi, and welcome back to the vlog. Sunny day again. Just loving sunny days. Um, yeah, I said we wouldn't talk about my ankle anymore. Still got problems with it. Still infected. But things are looking up. And uh, a lot happening in the village at the moment. We are still preparing for uh, winter. So, Predrag, Tam's father, has been doing or has just done 50 kilos of cabbage. So he slices them up um, or cleans the leaves off and then cores out the middle and fills it with salt. And then it's put into a massive barrel um, called a Buddha, but in a barrel with water. So in effect, the cabbage will soak in brine now for a good few months. Uh, and then when we need it for making meals or accompaniments with meals uh, we have something similar to a german sauerkraut kiesli corpus um, it's called it takes about half a day of work he's a, an expert at it so he just sits down uh, and cracks on
So that's our uh, cabbage finished and now uh, we just wait for a few months until we can use it either in recipes or as an accompaniment um, to a meal. So that's it for this vlog. Um, we're not posting as much on social media as we have been recently, basically because I'm out of action and my attention span um, is not as great as it was. Hopefully some good news in the next vlog uh, about the ankle and some more things that we get up to here on an almost daily basis in our village in the northwest of Bosnia, Herzegovina. Tam's away at the moment, she's a very very busy girl at the moment. So please do like, share and subscribe. Um, the algorithm likes it when you give us a thumbs up, please do, and press the notification button so that you get uh, updated every time we post uh, a new video. If you want to get in touch, our email address is in the description below. So that's it from this one. I'm going to leave you now with the autumn colours of the village. Until the next vlog, please stay safe wherever you are.